Welcome back to yet another episode of Songs of Six on the hardest difficulty. I, I'm jumping right back in. Last time was eventful. We got raided by a few what I would call homeless people. They had no equipment, they had no training, they ran at us, they died. Sadly we didn't get anything out of it. Not even some free, in quotes, workforce. But the next time we get raided, which shouldn't be too long, since we have a 23% chance of being raided every year, we have a prison ready, we have a slave ready, and we should convert some of uh, those pesky attackers into willing and easy to please workers. Another thing I would probably do is expand a bit more into the mountain. Maybe even prepare for some slaves of different cultures and races. Because right now we could use some Cretonians to... Those are the pig boys. They are very good farmers. We could use them for our farms. We could also use some Tilapi slaves. Those are the elves, in quote. They are very good ranchers, we could use them to get up some auroch or antler owned farms. Auroch probably not, because we are in the wrong in the wrong climate for it. Antler don't is okay. Maybe we just stick to those globdians. But we'll see when that happened. Now we're building our next Balti crawler, we're still producing way too little food. I'm also thinking about switching this over, this farm, to an orchard, which is much slower to produce food, uh, I mean it takes much longer to set up because the trees, the trees have to grow, but once they are grown we get some some nice production boost compared to the farm. Other than that, things are looking pretty good so far. Our population boom is continuing. All thanks to one little hatchery over here. We are up to almost 250 people. We're finishing up our wall over here. And then we can think about maybe expanding some more. Our tail is now producing some clothing. Our weaver is producing fabric, which we can sell later on. So next steps would be to produce some leather armor for our elite troop of 20 Garfimi soldiers. Because what the Garfimi have is they have some pretty good pierce damage in the beginning. Even without armor, because I don't know, they are insects, they can bite real good. But what they don't have is any survivability. But with some armor, we could change that drastically. I know it didn't look like it, they looked pretty competent in the last fight. They got charged and just killed everyone. But I don't think our luck is gonna hold up, and we have just 20 of them. So first things first, we're going to need some additional Good, but I think I might have majorly majorly impacted myself by cutting off those Baltic crawlers. So we now have to hunt different things. Over here we have some of those lob the end thingies. What else could we hunt? Those things over here, Smilodons, not a good hunt. They probably take out two or three of my people before they go down. Other than that, we have some of those bird thingies over here. Problem is, I think they also fight back. Okay, so now I just realized that our food problem is much more immediate than, <laughs> than it at first looked. 
Uh, we have about seven days to fix this. So what I'm immediately going to do is I need to refurbish this room, expand it a bit, so we can get some more fruit. And then I have to think about uh, next steps. But I think uh, our food problem will be look will be looking much better after the Baltic crawler breeder is finished. So. First priority is to get that one up and running. Quickly building a road over there and then I think I will skip forward again. Just a quick update, I've plopped down a big Globdian pasture just to produce some additional meat and livestock and eggs. The eggs are actually not preferred as food by my Garfimi, so I'll, I have disabled it in the market and the food stall, so they should not eat it. I've also told them not to eat any eggs. So my plan is to use this as a bit of an additional income because eggs are quite quite expensive so I can sell them for a good profit. Should I need the food I can also enable it again. I had to buy some fruit to reseed this farm and I also just uh, unlocked the technology for leather armor which I have to switch over here. So they should produce some leather armor now. And I also unlocked another level of spoilage. So my spoilage rates are even lower now. Still pretty, pretty restricting. 86.18% of my stored goods spoil every year. It's not that high actually because... Uh, I think what they do is that it's like having a timer on the food and my people use up the food that is uh, lying around the longest first. We're still producing this Baltic crawler breeder since the Globdians are animals that have quite... they're like chickens basically. It's lizard chickens. So we need a lot of livestock in here, 120 compared to the meat grubs who only have uh, need a lot of space. So there's uh, not that many animals in there. Ah, 
Other than that, I think my next steps are to gather up some leather armor. Make some money. We also bought some slaves in the meanwhile, so I have my first Cretonians over here. They are cotton farmers right now. And I also bought some additional humans, which I'm going to need more of because I told my humans to work in this pasture instead of the knowledge center because we need the food more than we need the science right now. But the next time a slaver comes around, I can buy even more slaves. And then next time we get attacked, we should also get some slaves. But we'll see about that. My raid chance actually is going down at the moment. Now it's going back up. Because a lot of wealth was removed from my settlement when I started building these buildings. This Balti Crawler breeder is taking a long time. We get a gift. A very nice gift actually. We can use some clay. My next plan was actually to move down here and maybe set up a little mining settlement over here so we can start mining some of that clay to make my Garfimi even happier. Right now we are about at the limit. They have higher expectations than we can provide for them so they are not 100% happy right now. But that should clear itself up shortly. I think that's it for the little update. I'll resume going a bit faster. If anything happens, I, I will stop.
Okay, I've just about finished the little mining outpost over here. Provided them with all the services they need. They have somewhere to relieve themselves. They have a market. They have food stores. A well. Some speaker who gives them the news. And a little fireplace they can chill at. We're just waiting for the last pieces of furniture to build the clay pit. And after we have a clay pit, we can let our Gafimi people, who are becoming quite unhappy at the moment, put some clay in their houses and that will make them very happy. Other than that, I can look into getting them some better services which will be quite an investment. So at the moment we are uh, plateauing a bit when it comes to our the growth of our city. The population is still shooting up, which is mostly due to our breeder still being very productive. Our Balti Crawler breeder over here is still not finished. But we have 36 odd jobbers who are digging through that mountain, like there's Mithril on the other side. And our clay pit is getting finished, I'm just making it a bit speedier over here. And voila! We have... 20 clay diggers are enough for the moment. As I said, the, the output is not great. Normally one worker would produce 4 clay per day. Since the deposit is only at 30%, we are producing only 1.31 clay per day. Not good, not bad. Better than nothing. We won't be using this clay deposit for for the whole time, because as soon as we reach 500 population, we're going out into the world and we will conquer our neighbor who has been supplying us with stuff. And our neighbor has two de clay deposits in his region, so we will probably import clay from him. But that's a plan for the for the far future at the moment. Our food situation is still looking dire. I'm hoping that the Baltic Crawler Breeder will provide some relief in that regard. And yeah, now we're starting to produce some clay. I forgot that my Garfimi are excellent clay diggers, so things should be going good. Clay is also not too bad when it comes to money. So we can, if we have an, a big overproduction of clay, we can start to export some of it. But my immediate plan would be to produce some pottery out of it. So we can start upgrading some of our services. It's looking good so far. I think I will allow my bug people right now to put some clay in their houses. And after they have enough clay and stone, their houses are fully full of furniture. And then we can also start looking into beautifying our city a bit with the one thing our bug people desire the most. Which is humidity. They like it moist, they like it warm. So we moisten the place up a bit. So I'll need to do some thinking on my next steps. And then we can see about expanding even further. I think now I'm just waiting for the Baltic Crawler Breeder to finally finish. It's taking a long time because they have to walk so far. So when one of my bug persons over here decides, oh yeah, I'm gonna dig into the mountain, he has to walk all over here, back here. And by the time he arrives, he punches the 
rock wall two times and then he says I'm hungry and heads back. So this is taking quite a time quite quite a while. So I think I'll speed up until the Baltic crawler breeder is finally finished. Okay, it's happening. We're getting our second offer of protection right now. This time it's 32 soldiers, so almost double ours, with 33% training and 26% equipment, which is worrying to say the least. I will still decline. And I will try to fight them off, because we should have enough. We should have enough uh, leather armor to equip our people with at least two pips of leather armor. So they should be quite more survivable. And this time I'm speeding it up a bit, since we know this will take a while. And I'll unpause again once the, the attack is starting. Okay, quite a bit happened in the meantime. The Baltic Crawler fin uh, breeder is finished. We've gained a new level, so now there's crime in our city, yay! And those 32 men are attacking me. So I will now deploy my elite troop of 20 Garfimi. And then we will see what happens. If they can still fend off people who are much better equipped than them. With all the training we've given them. Okay, the enemy is deploying. Just looking over where. Okay, it's the same spot we had before. Once again, we have to destroy the catapult as quick as possible. We're sprinting over there. Battle music is kicking in. We start Dabbing the catapult and the people guarding the catapult. Enemy has two troops again, four people, and those are looking beefy. If they have plate armor, I think we're done for. Okay, the catapult is done. We meet them in the open. Maybe without sprinting.
Slowly but surely we're moving next up to each other. Okay, they are charging us. They stopped their charge. Interesting. Little bit of cat and mouse here and there. Okay, I have no idea what they're doing. Okay, we charge. Let's find out if this is working. We've not killed anyone so far. looking a bit worse than last time, I can tell you as much. I'll speed it up a bit. We're having some injuries, as much as expected. One of ours died, and no, none of them. I think this would... Okay, now we start absolutely demolishing them. That was quick. I think we killed one or two, and the rest is just running now. Okay, we need to get the other troop and then... We did it! This time we should get some prisoners actually. Yes, we have 18 prisoners. Now we will... Oh, most of them are Garfimi. Uh, I'm enslaving them. I'll take the happiness hit for a bit and then I'm just selling the slaves for money. I think that's the better way. Okay, this fight also went well. We lost two people. They're getting back up. They're getting back trained. Um... We've gained some experience. The problem is, uh, we've defeated our second raid, so the next raid will be even, even stronger. And this one, I think, was a close call. Good thing is, uh, training matters massively. If you if you kill an enemy, everyone else gets a morale hit. And what happened here is, we killed one or two of them, and the rest just started running for their lives. Normally, that's the Garfimi. But since my people are 100% trained, they don't get the morale hit that much, so one or two of them can die and the rest won't start running. The problem is, every time I defeat the enemy, he gets stronger and there's, they come back with more equipment and more training. But I think, after defeating the second raid, I will call it, a, call it an episode here. If you're watching this, thank you. I love you. If you have any feedback for me, even if you say, hey, I hate it that you skip so much gameplay, I just wanna see it all without any skips in between, you just tell me and I can accommodate that. So thank you for watching and see you the next time.